here. We also have very warm temperatures to start this morning as well. And I think even this weekend, we probably will break some warm overnight low temperatures too for hottest overnight lows. And that's because some of these foothill and mountain communicate uh, communities, even at the higher elevations, if you're at about 1500 to 3000 feet, we're staying very warm and even into the low 90s. And that's because of the inversion that we have as well. And that's trapping some of that warm air at these higher elevations. And that's pretty rare for us to see as well. 90 degrees in Woodland Hills, also the valley suffering from that too. 87 in Burbank. If you're stepping outside, 80 in Chino Hills, 87 in Ontario, you're gonna be heading into your car this morning and turning the air conditioning on and it's pretty early. Excessive heat warnings go now into Monday night. Ventura now under that heat advisory as well. So the Southland is covered in heat warnings and heat advisories. The fire weather watch has now been upgraded to red flag warning. So we also have elevated fire concerns too. It's not just because of the heat, but these areas typically deal with pretty breezy conditions. Nothing major or extreme, but anywhere from about 15 to 25 mile per hour winds, especially along the I-5 corridor, areas of the high desert out near Acton and some of these mountains where we do get a little breeze, plus the extremely high temperatures, warm overnight lows, low humidity levels that will all increase the risk of rapid fire growth if we do see any. So if you see any activity this weekend, of course, report it immediately. Uh, we have this high pressure. It is in place. It's not going anywhere anytime soon. Los Angeles for these areas. Finally, by next Wednesday and Thursday, we will start to feel the cool down a little more and we'll get back down to the 80s. 15 today, areas like Santa Clarita also expected to get to about 115 degrees. Tomorrow, in a 10% shot also of an isolated shower or thunderstorm due to some monsoonal weather possible this weekend. So if you're in those far eastern communities like the Inland Empire, it's not only going to be hot, it's going to be feeling a little muggy and humid too, which is going to make it feel a little worse outside, unfortunately. Then we head into next week, finally cooler temperatures, 90s or slightly cooler the beginning of next week, but also a chance of some thunderstorms. Minimal, though, for the deserts as we get into this weekend. Elevations, too, because there's an inversion in place, and that's keeping some of the foothills and the lower elevation mountain communities very warm overnight. Excessive heat warnings have now been extended into Monday night, so we have the entire weekend to get through still all of Monday before these temperatures start to fall off at a noticeable level. Heat advisors like Acton, just a little bit of a breeze, very high temperatures, warm overnight lows and low humidity levels also bringing some elevated fire danger. We're going to talk more about this heat wave in just a bit. Uh, we have some very hot temperatures. It's going to be hotter than yesterday, believe it or not. So we got up to 116 degrees in areas of Woodland Hills. I'll show you that in a moment. But I mean, just extreme heat and pretty rare for areas of Southern California. And we are in it for several days. These overnight temperatures also staying very warm in isolated areas that are not on this temperature map, probably staying in the 90s in the overnight hours. And those are higher elevation spots too, anywhere from about 1500 feet elevation to 3000 feet due to an inversion. And so that's trapping that warm air at some of the higher elevations, not just Woodland Hills at 90 degrees right now. We probably have quite a few other spots where it is extremely warm overnight and we're just not getting that relief. 85 in Van Nuys, 86 degrees in Burbank. You get in the car this morning, you're going to want to blast the air conditioning right away because it is already hot and those cars have stayed hot overnight. Excessive heat warnings have now been pushed into Monday night because even though we are going to maybe cool off about a degree or two over the weekend, it's definitely not going to be enough to get us out of the heat risk. And so there's going to be a very high risk over the weekend, especially when more people want to be spending time outdoors to suffer from heat exhaustion. So if you're making plans this weekend, try to make them inside. Air conditioning, movie theater is an awesome place to go. You can head to the beaches. However, we still have an excessive heat warning for the LA County coastline. Ventura Beach, the one little slice we had without a heat advisory, now also under one, as well as Orange County beaches. So it is just going to be warm everywhere. We also have the red flag conditions, elevated fire it's concerns. Very hot. Right now, for Indio, just a few got to 121 degrees. That beat an all-time record. And then as you took you out to Woodland Hills in Northridge, Northridge also got up to about 116 yesterday. Fillmore, 115. Burbank, 114 degrees. And Saugus out into Santa Clarita, 110. Extreme temperatures, that ridge of high pressure not going anywhere anytime soon, and it is keeping us all very hot. Los Angeles is going to have some weather from the southeast potentially coming in, some monsoonal weather that will be bringing us a very slight chance of showers or thunderstorms to our mountains and deserts, but enough to bring humidity level 15 expected. Tomorrow, not too much different. And then Sunday, we're going to be kind of about the same, maybe a couple degrees cooler, but we'll have a 10% chance of a thunderstorm for those far eastern communities like the Inland Empire. Beaches all week, finally, 78 degrees.
degrees returns Tuesday and by next Thursday, some low 70s. So quite a big change by then. I'll have your mountains and desert forecast coming up in just a bit. John, Rachel, I'll send it back to you for now. Glad we have that to look forward to. Yeah. Thanks, Brianna.